Boom! That's right, did I scare you? I bet I did. Yeah, that's right. It is your boy, Napoleon the Seventh, in a um relatively ridiculous getup, we'll say. But you know, here's the thing on the Napoleon the Seventh channel, we uh we we commit. We we none of this none of this just face mask and sunglass <laughs> base suit? More like Edwardian period waistcoat. Tailored. Tailored, might I add. Well, I'm here to... Yeah, yeah. I am here to carve a pumpkin. Oh, God. I've never done this before. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, so you might be saying to yourself, Oh, how are you going to carve a pumpkin? Oh, 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 just you. Just you, wait. Just you. Oh, we got to... We got a cavalcade. Whoops. Well, I probably won't need that one. That one's probably not that. Um, that's, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too useful either. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, ooh, that's, I'm sure that's fine. No, we have a knife. Be careful at home using things like these. These are not toys. They are, in fact, dangerous weapons. Dangerous weapons. And we have Minecraft. We have Minecraft. Let's uh, let's give her a go. So you might be asking yourself, why, for the love of God, is this man going to be carving a pumpkin? Oh God, this is so much harder than I remember it ever being as a child. This is this is pain. So anyway, yeah. So this is not at all a toy. Do not use it like a toy. I mean. Yes, I myself am kind of flinging it around like it's, you know, whatever, but... But in reality, you really ought to, um, well, take care at home. By the way, if you recognize what this, uh, get-up is kind of about, do let me know. Do let me know, because that's, that's, that's a deep cut, my friend. That is a deep cut that you recognize. That is, that is impressive. That is, oh boy, that, oh, oh, it smells, yeah. Oh, it smells. Oh, oh, um, right. You sit there. But no, actually, you sit right there. It's wonderful, isn't it? Isn't this all just so what? Why did I do this as a sub goal? Well, you see, you might be wondering why this whole, whole thing's happening. I haven't explained it well, have I? They achieved, and by they, I mean, oh my god, uh, the, the wonderful people are over on my Twitch, you know, twitch.tv slash Napoleon the seventh. Yeah, that's right. Self promo. They achieved the sub goal where they said, yo. If we do this, and that boy actually listens, and we give him money, will he do IRL content? And I said, yeah, sure. I didn't think it would happen. Lo and behold, uh, here I am. Oh my God, my bit. See, you know, it's don't even believe, if I stand by like proper whole height, then this is pretty like, eh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we're gonna keep scooping. We're gonna keep scooping. Oh, I need to slouch. It's so much, uh, <laughs> it's so much nicer to just slouch. But anyway. Oh my god, it's just full of seeds. This is just absolutely every speedrunner's nightmare of just endless seeds. None good, none of worth a thing. They're all trash, all of them. That's a terrible joke, don't laugh at that. That's a Minecraft speedrunner joke. Are you gonna laugh at that? Are you gonna, are you gonna laugh at that? I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. You know, it's a weird, it's a weird thing, this Halloween business. It, it really, it really is. The, Huh. It's really weird. You know, you might be saying to yourself, where did this even come from? Why carve pumpkins? Of all things, of all things. Well, apparently it's not even an old tradition. It's a fake old tradition. It's like from the early, like, 19th century. So, like, the actual Napoleon could have been doing this, you know? He could have been doing this if he was Irish. Because apparently the Irish just love cutting up turnips and such. That's what they were doing. They were using turnips specifically. That is disgusting. That is absolutely vile. But they, they, were, they, were, they were cutting up turnips and the like. Uh, oh, it's a little dirty. They were cutting up turnips and the like. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so weird to do in a suit, man. I haven't done this in years. Oh my god. But yeah, so they, they used to do this with like turnips and potatoes and the like. This was before the famine. And so yeah, that's how they started this whole tradition where it comes from Ireland in the early 19th century. You know... Often you might wonder to yourself, oh, I'm Napoleon. And I go, yes. And you go, well, I, oh, sorry, let me, let me, oh, I'm Napoleon. And I go, eh, yes. And they go, oh, well, we, we were wondering, you know, as one does. Uh, do you know the history behind a, a, a pumpkin carving? I say, yes, yes. But more importantly, why are we here? 
Why are we here doing this now? I don't know. Honestly, I thought carving a pumpkin would be a great idea, namely because Minecraft. And I went, you know what I'm known for is Minecraft. And they said, dance, monkey, dance. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? And I'm wondering to myself sometimes, do you think that it was right? Do you think that it was right for us to decide to steal those lucky charms? I don't know. Because I think about the Irish who made this tradition, and I think, yeah, I'm going to steal their lucky charm. I'm going to steal a heck of a lot more. Bro, I'm strong. That, that went in. It's a spoon. What? So here I am talking about lore in Minecraft. And now what am I doing with my life when I'm carving a pumpkin for Halloween? You know, I guess I wonder what, what Halloween spirit really ought to be about if this is what I'm go doing. Is carving a pumpkin truthfully in the spirit of Halloween? Or have we just subjected ourselves to a system in which we believe that pumpkin carving is the only method of expressing our festive cheer? But regardless, we have... By the way, might I add, we have... We have not just a spoon, not just this knife, not just that knife, we have two swords, but like... I don't think people appreciate just how absolutely intense this knife is. This is a normal carving knife. This is what I brought. Respect it. Respect it. Or don't. I'm not your mother. I don't think. No, yeah, that's not possible. So... Let's leave that. The Irish. The Irish. Turnip. Who's thinking to use a turnip for a, for a jack-o'-lantern? I mean, maybe... Is that what they call it? Jack-o'-lantern? Is it jack-o'-lantern because it's a... That makes sense. That makes sense. But I digress. This is... Like, Charlie Brown is quaking. He wishes this was in his pumpkin patch. It's pretty cleaned out now. It's as cleaned out as I think I'm gonna get it. Voila. Not being able to see very much. So you might be wondering, what's the lore of the pumpkins in Minecraft? And you know what? I can actually tell you that. There is. Jack-o'-lanterns do, in fact, hold a weird place in Minecraft's lore. Yeah, you thought this was gonna have no lore. Are you nuts? Look, look, at, who, look at who you're talking to. Look, look at me. Look at this. This is... This is everything. This is... Maybe don't cut the mic cord. This is... This is everything and more. Ooh. Oh yeah, now that I have stabbed into this pumpkin bit, let me tell you, the lore of Minecraft jack-o'-lanterns is that they must have life-giving properties, or they're filled with ruins of some sort, because to make a golem of any type, be it snow or iron, requires a jack-o'-lantern, and the illagers actually do... This is the weirdest conversation I've ever had. Actually, no, third weirdest. This, this... Uh, the, 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 the illages, you see, really like the idea of uh, keeping the jack-o'-lanterns around. They have a whole room dedicated to jack-o'-lanterns. And life magic. And so I have to presume that that is connected. Now, let me just... Yahtzee! Hey, that's not... That's not a bad eye! That... Whoa! That's enough. You know what? You don't get to see yet. You don't get. To... I'm, 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 I'm cracked. I'm cracked. This. You thought that this was gonna be like easy pickings. You were gonna be like, haha. We're gonna make fun of the boy. Well, well. Look who's laughing now. It's me. It's me. I'm pretty sure. I almost cut myself there. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you boohoo fellas who were like, oh, he's 13. He's slow, but I, I, I'm not laughing now. Or well, maybe you are. Maybe that is exactly what they are doing to you, Mr. Napoleon the Seventh. And I go, hmm, maybe, maybe. Who's to say? Who's to say? And thanks to our sponsor, the like button. Yeah, the like button and the subscribe button are my two biggest contributing sponsors here on YouTube. You know that? They're actually pretty cracked about it. They go, hey, yo, Napoleon, you want an empire, don't you? And I go, yeah, I kind of do. Really? Realistically? That would be kind of cool. They go, well, you know how to get that. And I said, no, how? They said, well, first, you could start a pyramid scheme. I said, ah, I'm not really into that. And they said, well, okay, well, you're not into pyramid schemes, but well, what are, what are you into? And, and I said, oh, you know, conquering the heavens, uh, you know, making the stars bow to my will, that type of thing, you know, a casual Sunday. And they said, oh, well, that's fantastic because we have just the thing for you. And I said, what's that? And they said, we have a whole bunch of sleep-deprived people who 
like to talk to you. And I said, that's actually, actually, send them in, chief. Okay, this is going way better than it has any right to. Uh, l let me be clear about that. I can't see, by the way. This has fogged. Oh, if you didn't know, I'm a thousand and three years old. Um, and if you see in the comments somebody called me 13, uh, they're banned. They're banned and I hate them. Uh, I don't really hate you. I could probably never hate any of you. You're all very kind. You're all very sweet, really. This is a bit of a mess. Oh, well, hit, but pop up. Pop out King, look at that. We got the jigsaw puzzle. This is, this is astoundingly good, you know that? This is superior to anything I've ever done with my life. If you're new here, if you have never, ever even heard of me, well, that's your problem. That, 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 that's your fault, for one, so stop that. But two, yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a big deal, you know? I, I make lore videos. I'm, I'm, dream who, you know? Dream who, I don't see that. I don't see that faceless, faceless, uh, ne'er do well. Carvin Pump, he could do this, and he doesn't. Because he doesn't have that Napoleon difference. He doesn't seek the conquer. Listen, he comes in and he says, that's a knife. Well, I say, it's not a knife. This is a knife. So you might once again be asking yourself, why? You might be saying to yourself, um, God, this was gross. And I would say, yes, it is. And this is a very scuffed video. This is... I had content play. I had a script. I didn't. I didn't. Could you tell? Could you tell? I, you see, I'm a bit of a goblin in this case, in this scenario, because I've kind of just absolutely murdered, I mean, absolutely re, 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 reorganized the guts of this, of this pumpkin. Wait a minute. No. Hold on. I have, well, I did. I actually transposed them into here. Transposed them. Transposed them. What am I? I'm not a musician. I could be. Right. So, this is, um... To be clear, I've cleaned these. I am being very cautious. There is somebody over there. I can be safe to do this. This will be the greatest jack-o'-lantern, the fanciest jack-o'-lantern lighting of all time. Might I just say, I, I would just like to say that because, uh, well, you're on the Napoleon the seventh channel. I like to do things properly, you know? I like to do things properly. So, you know, we, we, we have things on standby to ensure that this will work, but to be clear, safety precautions have been taken. This is, um, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? This is, um, boy, boy, they say fireworks quick. They lied. They didn't. Be careful with fire. But, you know, we'll cut back. We'll cut back. <laughs> and so there you have it, folks. That is, without a doubt, a wrap on a, a Minecraft pumpkin, a Minecraft jack o -Lanch. I want to say thank you very, very much. I know this video is a bit weird. It's a bit odd. I'm not really sure what I was meant to do with it. Was I a goblin throughout? Kind of. Does this have really much to do with Minecraft? Actually, a lot. I gave you a history fact, I told you a bit about the lore, and, um, I hope you enjoyed. Honestly, it's, it's all for you. It was, it's been an absolute pleasure being able to do anything for you guys, having you guys support. And, uh, once again, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, anything helps. It's all amazing. Hopefully I can do something like this again. Um, the get-up's a lot, I know. I mean, not many people get an Edwardian tailcoat suit to uh, carve a pumpkin, but um, that I suppose is uh, something I do now. The important thing is, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope everybody has a very happy Halloween. Take care of yourself.